Hi, it is July 2024, and there is a lot going on in our Northern Virginia real estate market. I'm Mickey Moravitz, and I want to share two things that people who are engaged in the market should be aware of. So first, despite national and even regional reports that our inventory has been increasing, in our Northern Virginia jurisdictions, we are not seeing that so much. Right now, we have about a half a month to one and a half months of inventory, um, which is very, very low. Now, at the same time, we have increasing prices. So we have what, we, what we're calling an affordability challenge, which is very real. Now, for the month of June, across the board, uh, in terms of jurisdictions and types of properties, buyers ended up paying about 1% over the list price in order to get the home. That has settled down a little bit and, of course, varies. Now, what we're um, seeing right now is the fact that, you know, we're hitting that summer seasonal slowdown um, and we're expecting the fall market to be very strong, especially if those interest rates come down. Now, secondly, what we have going on is the fact that as of July, we are starting to implement some of the changes that are required by the NAR settlement process. Um, so those are being phased in starting with our forms. So right now we have new listing agreements, new buyer agency agreements, new sales contracts, all of which are designed and hoped to increase transparency for the consumer. In August, we're going to have more changes implemented regarding our MLS and other policies, and I don't even think they know exactly what's coming. Now, what's really important is, and always has been important, is that buyers and sellers understand the implications and potential impacts of their various options uh, before they move forward. So if you have questions, if you would like more information or need assistance in this market, call, text, email me. I'm always here to help.